Yeah, it's very exciting times. I guess um, you know we've we've sort of been working really hard over the last seven or eight months to, to improve um, our games, and I think um, you know we've we've definitely seen those improvements. And you know now you know we're looking at like you said, 80 minutes from from the grand final, and I think it's, uh, you know going to be a great game. But you've got a team called Warrington Wolves in front of you. You downed the colours two weeks ago. Can you do it again? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely confident in my teammates that we can produce a performance, um, you know, that's going to win us the game. And, um, you know, we've worked really hard on, on what we need to do. And, um, you know, we sort of understand that they're going to come here, you know, fit and firing and, and ready to play well. So it's going to be a great battle. I know that you'll not worry about what happened a few weeks ago in Super League, but they downed your colours here, didn't they? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, you know, it's been it's been a great uh, competition all year, and I think um, you know Warrington you know, really set the standard along with Wigan. And um, but I think you know over the last four or five weeks, um, you know, this we've definitely stepped up, and um, I think we're capable of, of um, you know giving it a good crack. So just looking forward to uh, getting out there in the weekend and hopefully progressing to next week. Well, what you did do, you got the benefit of winning a point instead of having the, the week off. So I suppose that's a benefit for everybody, you know, the little niggles and bruises to get over for this big game this coming Saturday. Yeah, you're right. It was you know a big incentive, I guess, for us leading uh, leading into that match. And um, sometimes you know it can upset your rhythm a little bit. But um, you know we trained fairly hard this week, and um, you know sort of didn't really change things too much. Um, obviously, we we don't have the bumps and bruises from a game in the weekend. And, um, you know, we can really kick on and, and um, do some good training this week and um, you know, look forward to the weekend. Obviously last season you get, went through the playoff uh, campaign and system in the NRL and reached your grand final. Have you noticed any difference in the intensity in the playoffs over here? It's very, very similar, mate. I mean, obviously, you know, there's a lot on the line. Um, and there's some great players around and, you know, you can't afford to be making any mistakes um, at all, really. So. Um, you know, like I said, very, very similar in, in terms of intensity, and um, you know, looking forward to the weekend, and I'm, I'm sure it'll be a cracker. From your own point of view, the forwards lay the foundation, and it should be mammoth, both packs going at each other. But then, yourself and uh, Johnny at back, you've then just got to lay the foundation with the kicking game and bring the backs into it. Yeah, it sounds pretty simple when you say it like that. But um, I mean, it's, it's going to be a great game. The boys, the forwards, have been great in the last sort of two months. I thought they've they've really really stepped up and um, you know led the way and, and laid a platform for us. And obviously, makes my job a lot easier. And um, you know, I think you know in this weather, ball security is going to be uh, you know be, a, be an important part of the game. And um, if we can complete some sets and hold on to the ball, then I think we're a big chance of uh, winning the match. So really, it's a case of. It may well be dull, it may have to be dull because of the weather, but the prize at the end is getting to Old Trafford, isn't it? Yeah, I think uh, you know an ugly win's better than a pretty loss. I mean, um, you know, however way we have to get the two points is what we're going to do. And uh, it's a local derby, it's uh, second now to the, uh, the, the Wigan game, but uh, it should be a fantastic atmosphere at the Langtree Park. Uh, there'll be a hell of a lot, obviously, from uh, here, and there'll be a lot more, or if not as much, from uh, Warrington. Yeah, I'm sure both sets of uh, fans will turn up in, in their droves. I mean, um, you know, they've got some great supporters and, and so do we. And, um, you know, both sets want, want their team to win and uh, they'll be doing their best to cheer us on. So, you know, I'm sure this is our home ground and we'll, we'll have our, our fans, um, you know, as a majority and, and hopefully cheering and, and that'll definitely give us a big lift. Well, we're at home, so obviously it gives us a, a, a start. And that's a positive for us. I mean, had to go to the Halliwell Jones recently, and obviously we know it's going to be a tough town. They've got international players right across the board, and Westwood and Carvel are obviously going to be back, so um, it adds a little bit of a dimension to them. Although Carvel did play last time, but very, very short minutes, so they'll add a different dimension to him and another threat that we'll have to be wary of. Must have been a great psychological win to go there. Uh, people were saying that it, Warrington will probably do it, but you've now brought him here to uh, Langtree. Yeah, it was obviously you want to win and you want to get on a roll, and we did that. We, we got over Wigan and then we got over Warrington, but both performances will count for nothing if we don't get a win on Saturday. So. It's a fresh game, it's a semi-final and it's knockout, so the circumstances are slightly different. And the, the game they played at the weekend, they knocked themselves black and blue against all and 
the, some of the players will be feeling the injuries, whereas you had the two-week uh, off. Yeah, they wanted to get back on the horse after they get beat, so they probably wanted to play and were happy to get knocked around and, and get back into the grind and get a win. So, again, it, it, I'm not sure how much burn it has at this time of the year. Um, we'll just be preparing to play in a, a real ferocious and, uh, and big semi-final, which is, is what it is. Did you manage to do any anything during that so layoff? Was it with the team itself, uh, oh, or was it uh, light training? It was just some light training and, and making sure that uh, we, we got out and did a different activity on Saturday morning, which the lads enjoyed. But um, overall, it was just uh, keeping them going and um, giving them a bit of a rest mentally because they didn't have much video to watch because obviously we didn't know we were playing so and a bit of downtime there. But uh, the gym was still busy and the field was still busy, and we managed to squeeze a bit of alternative stuff in there as well. With having that extra week off, does that mean that you're injury free to pick from uh, in this biggest game of the season? Uh, no, no, Michael Shenton's still um, bad with his hand and, and Sean McGuinness won't return um, just due to his, his, his knee problem that he's had really on and off for, for most of the year, so them two will definitely be ruled out. And you've got Eddie Garner, you've played in the 20s, will he come into contention, Mike? Yeah, he will, and Chris Follinger will both come into contention and, and Lee Gaskell played in the 20s and uh, did well again, so there'll, there'll be a few that are up there. Uh, you know, um, pushing for places, which is good. You want competition because that brings out the best in people. Should be a fantastic atmosphere. I mean, it's the second derby for uh, Saints uh, now in Super League, isn't it? Yeah, we need our fans to get behind us, don't we? Uh, the big thing is that we can try and um, you know get Langtree Park full and noisy and uh, and make it a semi-final atmosphere. And the playoffs do struggle at times to to generate crowds like that. And we've got to really call on our supporters to to get behind it because. Um, you know, you're still 80 minutes away, and, and uh, at times our fans definitely gave us a massive lift at Warrington away with that end chockers. So, if we can get three end chockers, then maybe they can blow us over, um, or, or shout us over, or push us over, um, and do that a little bit more. And that's what we need at the minute. We, we need to know that we've got um, the whole town behind us for what is a big game. Do it, do it, oh. do it, do it. Oh. Do it. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> You can't do that unless you're not going to be rugby. Do it, do it. <laughs> yeah, look, it's um, definitely exciting. You know, big game ahead this Saturday night against Warrington. And, you know, I suppose uh, as a team point of view, we're not looking too far ahead, um, you know, apart from Saturday night here at Langtree. But uh, the win there two weeks ago, it, it must have been a great confidence booster that uh, a lot of people were writing the Saints off apart from the fans and uh, you did the job. Yeah, you know, if we had the confidence we could and, you know, I think um, to our credit we come out and um, got a good result and, you know, give us that extra week off um, to freshen up and to give us that extra uh, you know, preparation time for this coming week. And obviously you'll be carrying a few bumps and bruises sort of thing, so has this week off helped you? Yeah, look, it's given us, like I said, you know, there are extra three or four days to, to prepare and you know rest up and you know to be able to sit back and watch the, the other four teams that go around and you know see who we're coming up against. You know, come Monday we're we're hitting the ground running and uh, instead of in recovery mode. So now you've got to prepare yourself for Gareth Carvel, Mozza, Chris Hill, and the other prop who I should know but I don't. But uh, it's. Uh, it's going to be a hard ask, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's the Carvel, the other props. So uh, yeah, no, definitely. I think it's, um, you know, they, they thrive themselves on their, um, you know, big quality forward pack that they do. You know, it brings a second phase and good go forward, which, you know, definitely brings guys in like Brad Hodgson into play. But from your own point of view, it's not a bad pack that you're involved in, is it? Yeah, no, you know, I'm quite happy with um, the pack we've got here. I wouldn't swap it for anyone, and you know, we're all doing our job and you know, sharing the work rate around, and I think that's. Um, been the, um, the positive uh, to our season is the, the work rate being shared around our forwards. So what have you got to do to get a double in three weeks over Warrington here at Lime Tree Park? No, I think, you know, we've just got to play our game. You know, we've got to be uh, strong defensively because, you know, they can score points. But, you know, I think completion and, um, you know, just hang on to the ball. So just, you know, play our natural game and, you know, be, be very physical. But I suppose, from your own point of view, it's the one game at a time mentality. And you can't even, I suppose, really think about what's at the end of it. No, that's right. I think it's, uh, it's probably the frustrating point of view for the fans and the, the media and the press that um, you know you, you, you get us players thinking that they think in one week at a time. But you know, uh, in all honesty, that's all it's going to take because you know, I suppose if you don't get a good result this week, you're, you're out the back of it. So it's definitely uh, Warrington Saturday night and um, whatever happens at the end of that, it, uh, we'll move on to the next obstacle. And hopefully there's going to be a house full before the game starts with Specky's both from St. Helens and uh, Warrington. Yeah, I, I wouldn't expect anything less. You know, obviously uh, Saints fans coming out in force. You know, whether we're home or away, and um, be no different this week. It's a massive game, and I think it's our last home game here at Langtree for the year. And 
to uh, to finish it off here at Lang Tree to um, give us a great support. It'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing now? What are you doing, Bob? Come on, guys. 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 Come on, guys